All right, guys, so this is going to be a boring video, and it's going to be the unboxing of my brand new Got It Today, which is, jeez, I hate not knowing the date. Tuesday, July 16th, 2024, my Omtech 50 watt fiber Galvo laser. Had a uh, 4th of July sale, quite a bit off, so I bought one. Just drug it in, just got here half an hour or so ago. And I'm going to have to share my computer for my um, CNC machine. Pretty sure I'm going to share it, but you never know. So anyway, kind of dying to get this open. And I did take a look at the box. The box doesn't look half bad. And my workshop is so small that I, I'm just out of room. So I have to do what I have to do. The only thing that I do see is an impression right here. Hopefully it's packed well enough inside of the box that there's no damage to the laser. 66.7 pounds I believe it weighs. But honestly, I don't think it weighs that much. I think they might have jacked that up to ensure their shipping costs. It feels more like a 50 pound bag of dog food. Hey look, they give you a ruler for measuring stuff. I'm kidding. This is probably for the focus, focal, focus adjustment. I did watch a video on this and that's what the guy said. They give you a ruler to measure stuff. But I doubt, I mean, I'm, obviously you can use it for that. But I'm pretty sure that's not actually what it was intended to be used for. And I wish I had a shop twice his size. A friend of mine told me years ago, if you're going to build a shop or a garage, make it twice as big as you think you're going to need because you're going to use it. And I, uh, I did not listen. I have the space, but I didn't listen. So here's our user manual. Five pages. Yeah, five pages, so you know there'll be a lot of online investigation. Firewire cable, some mounting, a bunch of um, Allen keys hooked to a ring, power supply, which looks like your basic computer. And the reason that I went with Omtech is we have their 100 watt um, CO2 laser and it's been working absolutely phenomenally. So I'm hoping this follows suit and I don't have any issues with it. All right, so we have a little sunglass holder here. Which, check it out. It has your Goony Goo Goos high protection. Yeah, I wish I had a bigger shop. And it looks like this is going to be really easy to put together. And this is a 5.9 by 5.9 work area. And it seems to be packaged really well, so there should be no issues with the little indents in the box that I saw. Now I just have to become ambidextrous. And this is the heavy part. I doubt there's anything below this, and there is not. So I thought that 
I do have a use for a fiber laser to engrave metal, but I didn't want to spend untold thousands. This was um, with shipping tax, the discount and everything, it was like 2300 bucks. Not that that's a drop in a bucket, especially for me, but um, it's a whole lot better than five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. And I do like that everything comes wrapped. There's some heavy wires here, so I guess I'm going to be using my 30 amp breaker plug. Yeah, there's some heavy wires here. But it is 110, and that was something that I really needed because right now in my house I only have 150 amp service, but I have a guy coming over to give me an estimate on upgrading my breaker box and everything to 200 amp. But I wanted to make sure that whatever I got worked on 110. So we have a key, rotary access, which I did not buy with this, emergency stop, and I'm going to guess alright, I'm done guessing unless these come out and they do and I'm sure because of that 90 degree bracket up top it's going to have to go this way and let me double check and make sure you all can see what I'm doing yeah good And I like that they give you the little tools, although I'm sure they're top quality. So it saves me from having to figure out what size they are. And it is hot today, guys. I'm sweating like prostitute on dollar day. So let's see that one. Alright, so it's the biggest one. It's not the biggest one. It has to be the biggest one. And it is. So I don't need them on that ring that's annoying and difficult to work with. So if you take it off the ring, it's just easier in my opinion. Alright, they're snug down. We'll get them a little tighter to make sure that the laser head doesn't fall off. And not super tight, it's in aluminum. You don't want to strip anything on your first day. And I do kind of like how they put the screws into the piece that is going to be um, mounted. So you're not looking for screws. Alright, so the first and third biggest one, Allen wrench that is, is what you're going to use for your mounting. And I really do apologize, but I wish I could fire it up and do some burns. But that'll be a day coming soon. Hopefully I remember, because if you saw my other video, my last video, I was building my um, fabric building and had a little accident and got a pretty good concussion. So hopefully I remember what I'm talking about right now.
and I probably should look at the directions, but we're just going to line this up to the center of the workspace as well as I can. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, because of this concussion, my vision is a little bit cattywampus right now. And it was two weeks this Sunday that happened. So I usually heal pretty fast, and I kind of thought that I'd be over this, but I guess when you dent your brain, it's uh, a little longer healing time. And we're going to put the Allen wrench in this so I can turn it. And I fought long and hard before I bought this, let me tell you, because the kind of money that I spent on it is very valuable to me. There's a lot of different brands out there, but from what I learned, for the most part, they all use the same guts. And this one, I have read that there's some poor customer service with Omtech, but at least they're, I believe it's in Colorado. So, you know, I've driven cross country a bunch of times and if I got to drive to Colorado to choke somebody about my products issues, so be it. It'll be a cool little vacation. And I'm not sure why this is so darn long. But that's it, man. We're, we're built. These obviously are going to be your guides. And there are screws in here for that. And surprisingly enough, it's a different size, which you think they could have done a little better than that. But we're just going to set them in here for the time being, just so they don't go away. See how they fit. Yeah, they're calling for severe thunderstorms tonight. Apparently up in Buffalo, where a friend of mine lives, she said they had a tornado up there yesterday. And it took down a bunch of old growth oaks, pine, and maple trees. So she was a little freaked out. Where I was from in PA, we had a tornado come through. Probably have a video up here somewhere about that. But um, yeah, it was the first time she ever experienced a tornado and she was a little freaked out. So here's our key. And it works, which is cute. And here's our little floppy drive these days that should have the software on it to get this up and running. And you know what, maybe just because I'm that kind of guy, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Make sure it lights up. There is an on and off switch in the back, which I guess is more like a master switch. This is a 30 amp outlet. Let's do some switch on. And just as I thought, it's not going to do anything because we don't have anything hooked up to run it. Alright, we had the emergency stop switch on, but the fan is on, so it powers up. Only comes with one lens, and I really can't tell you for sure what it is, because I kind of rushed to put this together, as you saw. But that's it. We get the computer hooked up to it, get the software installed, and then we're going to do a test burn or two, probably three or four. So if you're interested, stay tuned, and we'll be back really, really soon with that. All right, guys, have a great night, and we'll talk soon.
Take care.